Hi. In this video I will be showing you a cool chemical reaction between anthracene and anthracene. This reaction is a photochemical dimerization reaction and this is just fancy chemistry talk for forming bonds with light energy between two molecules. But this reaction we only need one reagent which is 200 mg of anthracene. Now we need a solvent for the reaction. And anthracene is a little annoying in that regard because it is only slightly soluble in most accessible organic solvents, like ethanol or acetone. It is pretty soluble in nitrobenzene, but who has nitrobenzene? And I'm not going to use nitrobenzene. <laughs> Instead, I will use boring toluene, which is not the greatest, but it will suffice. In toluene, which I'm using 35 ml of, the anthracene is only just about completely dissolving. You see, it takes quite a bit of effort to get everything into solution. After all the anthracene had dissolved, I filtered the solution through a cotton ball into a round bottom flask to remove any insoluble residue. And now I'm pretty much ready. I just put the round bottom flask into a bigger beaker and place it outside or on a spot where loads of sunlight can hit the flask. And now just wait for a week for the photodimerization to occur. And here we are one week later. You can see that a reasonable amount of crystals have formed on the side of the flask. And this is perfect to begin recovery. These are the crystals right after filtration. And this is the dried product on a filter paper. It is actually too small of an amount for my scales to measure, so I'd guess it is around 80 milligrams, which would be a 40% yield. Now for the final test whether this actually is our product, I will shine UV light on it to see whether it has any fluorescent properties. As you can see, it fluoresces, but not all that much. This could be due to tiny amounts of leftover anthracene. We can also compare it with the starting material, which is immensely more fluorescent under UV light. The dimer also decomposes at its melting point at about 265 to 275 degrees Celsius, theoretically forming anthracene. But in air it of course oxidizes to anthraquinone, which tinges the powder slightly yellow. And as always, like and subscribe if you want to, check out my Instagram account and thanks for watching.